Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and the second to last night of 31 Days of Oscar. Every movie on TCM since March 1st has been an Oscar winner or nominee. Each day we're focused on a different genre, sometimes multiple genres. Earlier today, it was military life. Tonight, we're moving on to melodrama. Up next, from Universal Pictures in 1954, Jane Wyman and Rock Hudson star in Magnificent Obsession. By the time Magnificent Obsession hit theaters, the story about a reckless playboy who repents for the love of a doctor's widow had been successfully stirring emotions for a quarter of a century. In 1929, Lloyd C. Douglas's debut novel, also called Magnificent Obsession, became a bestseller. It told a romantic story with an emphasis on spiritual guidance, humanitarian values, and the karma associated with kindness. Douglas, a retired Methodist minister, later used those themes as the foundation for stories like Green Light and White Banners, which were adapted for the screen by Warner Brothers in the late 1930s. But none of his other stories had the impact of Magnificent Obsession. It caught Hollywood's attention soon after its publication. Universal bought the rights and adapted it in a highly anticipated production in 1935, with Irene Dunn playing the widow and Robert Taylor as the irresponsible millionaire who's inspired to mend his ways. Universal assured audiences that their outlook on life would never be quite the same after this unforgettable movie-going experience. Some heavy hyperbole there, but the film was a hit with audiences and critics alike. That made it worthy of this remake 19 years later with Wyman and Hudson as the leads. Under the direction of Douglas Sirk, who, beginning with this production, became known for lush, emotionally charged technicolor dramas, Jane Wyman gave a subtle but powerful performance that earned her a Best Actress nomination. We'll have more on that after the film. From 1954, also with Barbara Rush, Otto Kruger, and Agnes Moorhead, Magnificent Obsession. When Universal's first screen adaptation of Magnificent Obsession premiered in 1935, starring Irene Dunn, Jane Wyman was just getting her start in pictures at Warner Brothers, where she'd spend the next decade as a reliable contract player in light comedies. By the mid-1940s, Wyman began going after more substantial assignments elsewhere, which led to her being cast in Paramount's The Lost Weekend in 1945 and MGM's The Yearling in 1946. Her solid performances, plus an Oscar nomination for The Yearling, encouraged Warner Brothers to take her seriously, too. The studio cast her as the lead in Johnny Belinda from 1948, which earned Wyman the Academy Award for Best Actress. From that point forward, Wyman became one of Hollywood's top dramatic stars. She'd earned another Academy Award nod for The Blue Veil from 1951 before receiving her fourth for the performance we just had in Magnificent Obsession. Coming up. A remake of another melodrama, again directed by Douglas Sirk, this time from 1959. Imitation of Life is next on TCM.